everyone again and we literally just left each other <laughs> but i miss you already uh so uh of course i've set up this whatsapp group so we can hopefully stay in touch um so yeah that's it um bye theater um, oh we we're just getting our stride weren't we um anyway i've said all this uh I think it's just not getting to do the show tonight that's just bumming me out, I think. It's just weird when you don't know you're going to do something for the final time, isn't it? But anyway, um, it's obviously for the best and people's health is so much more important. <laughs> um, oh, that last massive clap from all the theatre staff was just really lovely, weren't it? Yeah. Uh, anyway, I will leave you all in peace. Um, Take care and stay in touch and I'm sure we'll be up and running again before we know it. <laughs> um, stay safe. <laughs> um, anyway, it's freezing out here, so Mwah. So everybody has been making these amazing lockdown monologues and I thought I'd share with you my own piece of creativity. Um, it's like the Gal Gadot song, but just so much better. So. <clears throat> I've learnt two chords today, <clears throat> so get ready. And one, two, one, two, three. Bog roll, bog roll, where have you taken all the bog roll? How am I gonna clean my bum hole with no bog roll? I've tried leaves, sleeves, Boris's letter, no thank you, please. I'm a silky smooth triple layer kind of player, but no, I'm not buying that expensive shit. Bog roll, bog roll, where have you taken all the affordable bog roll? And also, where is all the sodded self raising flour? <laughs> As you can see, I'm here and available for all your monologuing, play reading, uh, theatrical needs. So uh, stay safe. Mwah. And Sabrina, your kids are so frigging cute. I love them. Mm. <laughs> um, so this is me saying bye, London. Um, you? No, it's, it's not you. It's me and, and it's COVID. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. It was fun while it lasted. Mwah. Actually, you know what? Uh, it was you and your ridiculous rents and the fact that I had to put deposit down to buy a coffee and that you basically had me living in a glorified Wendy house with what can only be described as a new species growing in the shower. Um, no, no, I'm not going to get into this. I said I wouldn't get into this. Uh, I will always love you, no matter what. And who knows, you know, maybe in a few months we'll find a way to work it out. <laughs> um, take care. Bye. Hi, here I am, back home, proper home, Stokey. Uh, controversial, but Danny, I am a yes vote for your lockdown look. Hairy, survivalist caveman feels like it's going to be very on trend for this pandemic. So, yeah, I'm loving it, mate. Um, I thought we could try this um, lockdown bingo thing. I don't know if you've heard of it, but I'll start. Uh, so, <clears throat> being reunited with your childhood bedroom for all eternity. Uh, bingo! <laughs> I will always love you, Leonardo DiCaprio. Are you doing a Titanic reunion? Because I'm so friggin' there for that. Um, uh, getting our final paycheck. Bingo. So, skint. Bingo. Um, having my mum check my temperature every five seconds. Bingo. Uh, epic baking fail. Bingo. Uh, feeling a bit shit and useless to the cause. Bingo. Um, rejected from a supermarket job. Bingo. Uh, they are Ramo up here. So just taking some time to actually probably think about, you know, what it is I want to do with my time, like how I could help or make a difference. Bingo. Um, applied for a job in a care home. Bingo. Uh, had a Zoom interview. 
Oh shit, that's the clapping. Um, send me yours. So, uh, shock horror. I only went and got the bloody job. <laughs> oh, there she is in all her glory. Uh, so, care homework, here I come. Hashtag Thursday, hashtag nervous. <laughs> Oh, uh, I don't know what to say, actually, which I know will come as a surprise to most of you. <laughs> um, it's intense, intense, yeah. Uh, but also kind of amazing what's going on in there. Um, social distancing doesn't exist in that place, which is obvious, but also a bit scary. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm knackered. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to getting back tomorrow. Yeah, I think. There's some really nice people. Obviously, I'm still missing you all. <laughs> Stay safe. Amazing you got that Zoom play gig, Sabrina. Uh, not jealous at all. So that's my training done. All two days of it. <laughs> I've now moved into the shadowing phase. Phase. Oh my God, I sound like a fucking Tory. Um, so today I was shadowing Trish. And Trish has just been there for forever. She knows pretty much everything there is to know. Oh, and she talks really loud all the time even when we're not with the family of the care staff called the residence family which is really lovely I, I think she just has got so used to talking like that because she's just literally there all the time works like seven days straight i don't know how she does it I and mean, it's a lot and i don't just mean like the lifting and the feeding but it's all this other stuff what we're trying to say for example, like she knows which of the family want you to just get on with the personal care. That's like the washing and everything, you know, and pretend you're not there. Not in a horrible way, just like discreet, like in a dignity way, I mean. <laughs> and which ones want you to have a chat with them and hold the hand for a bit before you wash them. And it's unsaid, like a secret language. And Trish, she just speaks it. <laughs> But she won't go out for the clapping, like flat out refuses, says it's really embarrassing because the street here just go wild for the staff. <laughs> she says she just doesn't like having a spotlight on doing a job. All of a sudden, like it's just a job. I get it, I do, but I'm also like, just take the bloody praise woman because you're amazing. <laughs> so today was my first proper day and um, three people died in the eight hours I was there. So, yeah, uh, I don't know what to say, really. Um, oh, it, it wasn't like me. Um, it wasn't anyone, you know, like mistakes. Uh, and it it wasn't COVID. It was just, I don't know. Um, Trish said it was just their time. She was so, like, bloody stoic about it. It was really annoying, actually. And then I caught her crying in the toilet. I've never seen a dead body before. I am so bloody wired. Oh, it's such a good way of describing it, Danny. The Corona Coaster. I just can't sleep. It's so bloody hot tonight, isn't it? And we um, got the proper... PP today so my face is a bit sore and all I just keep having these like well weird dreams it's like I've taken mushrooms without having to take mushrooms I don't know if you're getting them as well and uh, Trish took in three new family members today to fill beds so I think we were all a bit I don't know but she said if we don't we don't have a job and I can't stop thinking about all the empty theatres all across London, uh, all across the country. Like, what are they going to do with them if they all shut down? Stupid question, I know, but... <laughs> and I can't stop thinking about all the animals that are coming into towns now there's no people about. Did you see those goats and whales? I can't stop thinking about this clock in the home. Like, it's really high up in the lounge and it's stuck and no one can reach it to change it or whatever and is it me or is it well weird that when we do the clapping it's light sorry these are like totally random thoughts firing at you <laughs> that inflatable unicorn sabrina is quite possibly the most amazing bloody ridiculous thing i've ever seen does it shoot water out of its horn 
Uh, can't wait to see your finished um, piece. And make sure you send me the link, won't you? Uh, that is my first night shift done. I uh, just can't get used to handling the meds. It just fucking terrifies me. <laughs> um, there's an actual nurse that hands them to me and then I just have to give them to the family and report back if they swallowed them or spat them out. But my hand is just shaking and everything when I'm doing it. And there's this one woman, Angel, her name is, and she was just laughing ahead of me. Like proper belly laugh like she had to hold my hand still which is a bit fucking ridiculous considering I'm supposed to be the one that's looking after her <laughs> but oh uh, anyway I'm off to the supermarket now for a totally non-traumatic experience mum wants some eggs she'll be bloody lucky anyway. hiya sorry mum will you just turn it off oh my god she's doing this um passive aggressive volunteer whatsapp group and she will not let it drop with Pamela from number 97. I have never seen a more weaponized use of emojis in my life. Uh, anyway, happy Easter Monday, everyone. Uh, I had a proper good day at the home today, actually. Um, we did dancing. Yes, I danced. And, uh, and had an Easter egg hunt and bonnet making. And then Angel and me watched Quiz on the telly, which she loved. Fancy the pants of Chris Tarrant, apparently. Shiny tooth blondes are her type. I admire her specificity. Um, yeah, she keeps asking me why I'm wearing all the get up, you know, the mask and the gloves and everything. She keeps forgetting about the pandemic, which <laughs> in a weird way is actually quite nice for me. Um, but today she just won't let it drop, so I had to tell her. And then when I was explaining, it just wasn't worth her worried little face. She looked so scared. So uh, I told her we were at a fancy dress party and that I'd come as a space woman <laughs> and she liked that. So I made her a costume from a shower cap and she was an alien from the planet Hikalupa Pakaka. Uh, and we did a bit more dancing and then I took her to the toilet and she put it to bed. Oh, congratulations again to Danny and Stuart too. Uh, sorry, I'm just catching up now on your messages. Um, that ring is bloody epic. <laughs> when you walk, does your hand just drop to the floor with the weight of it? <laughs> I'm kidding. I mean, it's gorgeous. Um, I've had a great day too. Some days I can't believe I get paid for doing this job. Um, Angel showed me her old photos today and she used to be a dancer, like, like a showgirl in the circus. And she had a lover, the sword swallowing man, and he called her Puddin. And occasionally they had a menage a trois with the trapeze fella. That was lovely, I said. <laughs> no, it's totally fine. Do not worry about the Zoom quiz tonight. It's totally fine. You've all got loads going on. Um, I'm getting a bit sick of Zoom, if I'm honest. <laughs> oh, I just found myself wanting to mute people in real life. Uh, some of the care staff keep asking if I've been in anything they recognise. So uh, I told them about our play. Uh, They're like, oh, sounds great. But, you know, anything we'd know, not just London stuff. So I told them that I'd had a bit part in a soap playing a vet who had delivered a very distressed cow. And Nina from the kitchen pipes up. I knew I knew you from somewhere. And then she just reenacted the entire scene, like baby cough and everything. <laughs> Oh, mute. Um, uh, oh, yeah, Angel. Yes, yeah, she's okay, thanks. Um, she didn't want me to go home tonight. Uh, she just, like, thrust her hand into my silky plastic one. Um, it's hard. It's hard leaving her. Leaving all of them. I loved your piece, Sabrina. It was really powerful. And Danny, I can't believe you've written a play during lockdown. That's fab. I mean, I wouldn't know where to begin. Um... I thought you might like to know what happened to me today. Uh, so we um, had a new girl called Carrie and she was shadowing me. And you know, I was a bit shocked, but Trish said it was time. She was like Rafiki on The Lion King, like, it is time. I've been watching a lot of Disney Plus with my mum during lockdown. It's very comforting. Anyway, this Carrie, she was really sweet and kind and eager to help. So we went into Angel's room and she'd had a bit of an accident quite a bad accident for Angel actually and Carrie just bombed into her mask and it spurted out of her mask and then hit her visor and then bounced off her visor and went all over me and I want to say that we had a right laugh about it but actually it was just fucking gross to be honest with you <laughs> 
Uh, I didn't go out for the clapping today. It just feels funny going out. It feels weird. I don't know. I just stayed with Angel instead. Stayed way past my shift, actually. Um, poor Angel. I just sat with her and held her hand. She friggin' hates the gloves, but what can I do? We did some tests today, uh, COVID tests. Uh, they finally came in. I had to do my own. I uh, don't know if you've seen them on the telly or whatever, but they are horrible, actually. It's a nasal swab up through the nose and then another swab down the back of the throat. I uh, had to hold Angel's hand while the nurse did hers. I had to keep telling her that she had nothing to worry about. It's horrible lying to someone who trusts you, like, properly proper trusts you. <laughs> and Angel, uh, she just looked at me after it was done and I... I've never seen her look at me like that before. <sighs> Hiya, yeah, sorry, I've been a bit off the grid. Um, I'm fine, I'm clear. I've not got uh, COVID, but um, basically uh, the home is rife with it and I've had to kind of move in. Not kind of, uh, have. <laughs> I live here now, uh, just for a little while, um, just till things calm down a bit, I suppose. Uh, Trish is here too, which is lovely. There's like a whole gang of us. Obviously, it's just for the safety of the community and mum too. Um, because I've got no dependents or anything, it just felt like the right thing to do. And for Angel especially, who has forgiven me, by the way, or at the very least forgotten what I had to do. <laughs> no, she's forgiven me, definitely, I can tell. Um, mum was upset and worried, of course. I just didn't let myself go there, won't cry or anything. She just said she'd be lonely. And I said, no, you won't, because you're on first name terms with the Amazon man on account of your shopping addiction for non-essential lavender scatter cushions. <laughs> um, you'd have thought, hey, if someone had told me that I'd be doing this this time last year, I would have thought they were a complete and utter fucking nutter. I was seeing that musical cruise I told you about, just like, Belting my voice out in the middle of the med. Oh, it feels like a lifetime ago. You know, sometimes I wonder, will I ever get out of this place? And other times, I think, do I actually want to? Anyway, I better go and get ready because it's nearly time for meds. Okay, bye. Angel has got it. Uh, she's got a nasty cough. Awful, rattly. But her daughter doesn't want her to go into hospital. She said it'd be way too traumatic and, um, you know, she'd rather if, when it happens, she's here. And she lives abroad, so there's no way of her coming. No, in no way was it ever meant to be me, but somehow, by some weird twist of fate, it is... Um, I wanted to tell her, you know, I, I will look after her. Um, but her daughter, I could just hear in her voice. That's the last thing she wanted to hear, you know. Like, who am I? Just some silly actress girl, like, holding her mum's hand. And occasionally dancing around like a prat. <laughs> yeah, she's still with it a little bit, Angel. She's in and out, I'd say. But we stumbled across normal people on the iPlayer tonight. Um, my finger was hovering on the remote. But I nearly fell through the floor when his, you know what, popped out. There was no warning. It was just there, weren't it? <laughs> anyway, um, I switched it over. An angel piped up. No, switch it back quickly. I quite like that. Who am I to deny that, eh? So, um, poor Miss Cal, you have made an old woman very happy. Mwah for you. <laughs> It was VE day today, which was, I don't know, lovely, I guess. I held a hand and I took the glove off. I know I shouldn't have, but I did. And that was it, really. That was it. Sorry, I haven't messaged you guys in ages. I hope you're all okay. Don't know if you know, but tonight's the last clap. Um, it's reached its peak, they say. 10 weeks though, 10 weeks of clapping. It's amazing, isn't it? Uh, I'm not gonna force Trish out there though. Um, 
I'm getting all the staff and all the families who clap inside, like right here. Um, it was meant to be a surprise, but Trish being Trish, she found out about it. She got radar for secrets in this place. <laughs> but you know what? She said, yeah, the last clap, let's do it. 